wonderful, also sounding wonderful for the weekend. It's the 2017 Fine Art Fine Wine Fair. It's up at Orchard Lake. It's here today and tomorrow. So we want to welcome this morning Bart, Mary, Beth, uh, Mitchell, Callum, uh, Mary Case, also known as Augusta, correct? Other way. Other way. <laughs> you're, you're Mary Case, you're Augusta, and then Bart. Let's bring you in. You're the organizer, Bart. Great idea. Simply uh, buy some wine tasting tickets and just mill around and take in all the beautiful art. And it's a beautiful facility over there at St. John's. You can see the lake and you can, you're can. you under beautiful tall trees. There'll be 70 artists from all over the country and seven wineries. It just sounds so relaxing to have a, a sip of wine, some fine uh, wine, and then enjoy some fine art. Let's go from right to left here. So, uh, Mary, correct? Yes. All right, Mary, you are legally blind. I and am. you've created all of this beautiful art. Can you tell me about your style? Well, I use a lot of bold colors, obviously. I think it has to do with my vision. Mm -hmm. um, I choose a lot of content from like energy, nature, uh, like my mermaids over here. Um, I like to swim. I like that feeling of movement and motion. Um, this particular painting here represents a lot of energy, life, love, spirituality, and of course I love painting flowers. Um, that, that's a perfect way of saying it. There's <laughs> energy to your work. What got you, you into painting? I've just been doing it since I was a child. There's a lot of artists in my family. My mother was a high school art teacher and it's just in my blood. Um, and I'm just getting back to it now after many years of raising my family and okay. taking care of others. You can come see Mary and her beautiful work. Let's talk to Augusta. Your stuff pops. These are ceramic flowers. Yeah, they're ceramic flowers. How did you decide to make these? I mean, how, where did you come up with the idea? I, the, the clay just talks to me. I like bright colors. I like things that are fun and funky and that have multiple uses. So you could put them out in your garden once your flowers die back. Yes. You can put them inside. Great idea. And then uh, uh, this, these are glass, your mushrooms? The mushrooms, the tops are glass that I make myself out of powdered glass and I use my pottery kiln for that too. And then the bases are stoneware. And the tall one actually has a solar light so you can light it up in your garden at night too. Oh, I like it. And the colors, as I say, uh, Augusta, just pop. Moving over to Colum, if you like big, bold, and beautiful things, I'm telling you what, your, I gotta have to reach across to you, I'm sorry. Right. But your work really also, what we're talking about color and popping, is yes. really bold, I really like it. Yes, thank you, thank you all. All of my pieces are made of sterling silver and okay. gold, and I use uh, precious and semi-precious stones. How long have you been making jewelry? Wow, over 12 or 13 years. What made you first say, you know what, I'm going to bend this piece of silver or metal and make it something that you can wear and, and enjoy? Well, you know, I've, uh, I've been doing art all my life, and jewelry is one thing that it just really captivated me. I, I love jewelry, so I, I create pretty much everything. and. Um, I want to try jewelry, so this is what has been my most favorite thing thus far. Everything for sale, and I really like the idea of the event, guys. Having a glass of wine and taking in, meeting the artists like we have in here. Let's take a look at uh, the details on your screen for 2017 Fine Art, Fine Wine. That's the website I was just on, it. very informative. It's uh, St. Mary's uh, Orchard Lake, Michigan, at St. Mary's at Orchard Lake. Today and tomorrow, 11 to nine and then 12, I believe it says to six. Perfect weather guys for fine art, fine wine.